Wilson saw something in Rock Hudson that Rock Hudson couldn't see in himself. And he was determined to make him a star, almost maybe obsessed. <laughs> what it ain't it's your girl ombrella and i am back with another video in today's video we're actually going to be doing a hollywood control themed video i'm going to be talking about henry wilson who actually was i guess you would call him like a talent scout back in the 30s and the 40s and he actually discovered rock hudson and lana turner but the focus today is going to be rock hudson and henry wilson and their awkward relationship throughout hollywood now also we're going to get into a little bit of you know the closeted area of hollywood so if you're ready let's get into it it's ombre alert you already know i'm dropping the fire dropping the flames dropping the info so let's get into this hollywood control video if you're ready make sure that you like comment down below and you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this let's go okay so i did a hollywood control video about um, an, an aspiring actress and, you know, talking about her getting raped back in the 30s and the 40s. And someone made a comment under my video and was like, why aren't you talking about how men got taken advantage of in Hollywood and what men had to do? And I kind of was thrown off because I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about that. To be honest, I just thought the comment was inappropriate because... It was like the person was trying to check me when I was talking about someone's rape, you know what I mean? And I just felt like, you know, why are you trying to dismiss what I'm talking about and bring up something totally different and not even comment on what I'm talking about? But after thinking about it and after, you know, having some months go by, I... I don't want to not speak about the LGBT community, but I want to speak with knowledge and I speak just with opinion. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. But just be respectful, okay, with the comments. Just be respectful. To start this video off, let's just talk about early Hollywood, okay? We're talking about the 1930s, 40s, and the 50s. That was like early Hollywood. That was the time when the first movies was coming out, when the first TV shows was coming out. Everyone was enthralled with TV and, you know, watching TV and, you know, just obsessed with stars and the whole culture of glamorous Hollywood, okay? Just imagine, like, being gay during that time and literally having to, like, keep it a secret and you're an aspiring actress and you want people to take you seriously and not try to, um... Not really try to enforce your sexuality um, like it means anything because you are an actor. Like you can act anything. You know, if you're an actor or actress, you can act. So it doesn't matter what you're into in real life to me. As long as you act and you show up and, you know, you do the thing that you're supposed to do and you leave okay to do a little background on henry wilson his father was the vice president then the president of columbia records so there is some hollywood you know background there so his father was heavily involved in columbia records he quickly saw like maybe traits that his son was maybe more feminine than he hoped i don't even think that tap dancing is something that is that that is feminine to me but i guess it was to him i guess back in the time we're talking about the 30s the 40s the 50s we're talking about those times so it's like if you don't want to be an athlete as a man then you're you're gay you know if you want to if you want to do anything else other than be an athlete or use your hands that's the time period we're talking about like where men were manly men meaning they, they it's almost like men had really hard working jobs and they wanted their sons to do the same thing but it's like as hollywood is progressing like you know you can get paid a lot of money for doing something else you know and i think that's hard for a lot of people to accept from like generations that have passed on including 
you know, just for example, with our parents. Like, they probably don't understand if we want to be on YouTube or, you know, have any type of, if we want to do any type of, like, content creating. I don't think that they understand that. It's just harder for other generations to understand, like, the new generation, period. So I could tell that, you know, he probably was spitting a lot of that homophobic energy to his son and wanted his son to be more masculine. But you know your kid, you know. if I mean, and if you be around your kid, you kind of know, like, what's up at an early age. But Henry Wilson, he, you know, was a tap dancer. Then he went to college. And after college, he became a writer at The Hollywood Reporter in 1933. And then a couple of years later, he actually discovered Lana Turner, who became a big actress in Hollywood, and that's credited to him, and he discovered her in 1937. So towards the 40s, he did discover Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson was a big time star in the 40s and the 50s. He was like everywhere. He was the heartthrob, and he came and emerged on the scene during this period of time called the Beefcake Era. And basically what that means is was during, you know, the early, like the late 1940s, early 50s, there was a lot of movies that would come out with these very handsome, in the face, muscular men. Um, and they probably weren't the best actors. Most of the time they weren't very good at acting, but they looked so good. So it was a, a time period where it was all about looks. And a lot of those men were gay, you know, the on screen men that were like fine like nice you know muscles chest everything popping out a lot of those men were gay in real life and they had to hide that and not expose that or their careers would be in peril and it would be non-existent if anybody found out that they were gay like it would be over so rock hudson actually became a huge star like he had some serious trouble with his acting skills like it was really bad if if anybody wants to reference you know henry wilson you can look at the tv show that's on netflix it's called hollywood and it's and basically you'll see him as a character just to get a, a picture of or a visual of what i'm saying um, and the guy from, um, what's that show called? The lead actor on the, the Big Bang Theory plays him in Hollywood on Netflix. And he's really good. It's really good. It's scary good. Um, and he looks like him too, which is kind of crazy. So he discovers Rock Hudson and he, Rock Hudson is having some difficulties with his acting ability because it's really bad, but he just looks so good and you know um henry wilson is determined to make him a star because of his looks basically mainly because of his looks but henry wilson knows that he's gay and he starts to kind of manipulate him and you can see on the show hollywood like he starts to manipulate him and you know he tries to make him do things including spending the night over his house while he's twirling around in a bra and a skirt and you know and he looks at, in the show in the show rock the person that plays rock Hudson he just looks scared he looks like like tr he looks scared by this behavior because it's kind of like out of the blue and rock Hudson in the in the show in the TV show and I'm sure like he was like this in real life he just seems like a sweet guy he's gay in sexuality not in like he's not flamboyant if that makes sense like he's just a man that that likes men you know and you wouldn't know unless you you talk to him or or maybe not even then if he didn't tell you so it's like you wouldn't really know he was gay unless he told you he was gay he just you know he was just a man that liked men and henry wilson was not a man that liked men he was very feminine because rock hudson was like from the country too so i'm sure that rock hudson never met anybody like him before and it kind of scared him like his behavior it was almost like he couldn't control himself like he couldn't control like his behavior or i don't know it's like he was just maybe he was just turned on by him i don't know but um it scared me 
So he did discover Rock Hudson. He made him into a huge star by, you know, basically, you know, getting him the roles that he needed to be a lead in movies. So he was a lead a lot of the time in the movies. And this was the beefcake era. So a lot of dudes in the movies had their shirt off. We're talking about the time period of the movies that were very dramatic with the long, hard kisses and all of that. So, um... Everybody loved Rock Hudson, and no one knew he was gay. Like, the studios definitely worked really hard, especially Henry Wilson, for that not to be exposed. But everybody knew that Henry Wilson was gay because of how he acted. Like, he didn't, let's just say he didn't hide that he was gay. He just didn't show it to everyone. But it's like, I mean, I can't say he didn't show it to everyone, but he didn't hide it at all. Henry Wilson knew when to talk his talk and when to not. Like, he knew based on who he was talking to. He didn't want to make people feel uncomfortable. But, you know, he was one of a kind, okay? This is the time period where a lot of the men that probably was gay would shock all of us to this day. Like, I heard Cary Grant was gay, and I watched a lot of movies of his, and I'm like, whoa. He was in all the movies back in the day like he was in all the movies he had all the girls um especially which which one is that i think that's him in um how to catch a thief with um girlfriend i forgot what her name is but i think that's him in that one and then he was in charade with audrey hepburn and i'm like what like and it's more shocking than anything i'm just like what I wouldn't have thought that just because of all the, the the women that he's been with on screen. I wouldn't have. I would. He had everyone, everyone in Hollywood, like on screen in the movies. Someone named Ryan Murphy said, and I quote about Henry Wilson. They said he would be their manager and make them sexually service him. He was a tormented gay man who preyed on tormented gay men. And I can concur with that because also on the show, like you can see that Rock Hudson was kind of struggling with his sexuality and especially in the beginning, um, he was struggling with his sexuality. He was nervous about being gay because he knew he was, but it's almost like it was new to him, but he always knew he was. It's like he probably just never tried to be with a dude before um, he just seemed a little uncomfortable in his own skin so i could i could un, i could see how someone like henry wilson would take advantage of that and i think that because henry wilson was older than him he he knew like he could tell that he wasn't un, he was uncomfortable and he also could spot that he was gay like he could tell like right off the bat that he was gay Photographer named Mark Griffin called Wilson's process the gay casting couch and everyone knows that the casting couch You know in Hollywood means that you know if you sit on the couch You got to screw whoever else is sitting on the couch like to get a role you have to sit, you have to you know Do whatever on the couch to get the part that you want like that's that's what it is and so someone is saying that that's how Henry Wilson was doing it like he was exploiting his clients. Um, he preferred to have, you know, nice looking gay men as his clients so that he could either make them have sex with other men or, you know, make them have sex with him in order to get a role or whatever the case may be. But he was being very nasty and very manipulative and he was just taking advantage and controlling you know, his clients, including Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson felt like he was caught in the middle because he did feel like Henry Wilson helped him a lot. Like, he helped him. He got him, uh, he got his career on point. He fixed his teeth. He changed his name. He probably felt indebted to him because he helped him so much. But it's like, he helped you, but he also took advantage of you, too. Like... He also made you use your body to to get further and you didn't have to it probably came from his insecurity too, like not knowing his worth not knowing that you know he didn't have to do all of that to to get to where he needed to be 
if someone believes in you, they shouldn't, you know, want to take advantage of your your assets. In his case, his chest, his face, you know, his overall being. Henry Wilson saw something in Rock Hudson that Rock Hudson couldn't see in himself. And he was determined to make him a star, almost maybe obsessed. Moving forward, 1966, Rock Hudson, you know, his career was you know in the in the iffy spot and he just decided to sever all ties with Henry Wilson he just wanted to you know excommunicate himself so towards the night the end of the 50s Rock Hudson just slowed down talking to him saying for help all of that in the 60s Rock Hudson didn't really speak to Henry Wilson anymore um, and Henry Wilson was really gaining a bad reputation especially because his him being gay was just out there out in the open it wasn't just that he was gay it was the it was to the extent that he would go to or the lengths that he would go to to make people become a star or hide people from being gay he would you know hire people from the mafia to beat people up like he was becoming having a bad reputation because of the things that he would do to get the job done and everybody wasn't feeling that. And Henry Wilson, he slowly became like a full-blown alcoholic. And I think around the 60s too, um, he became, Henry Wilson became a, um, a drug addict and an alcoholic. And he was full-blown alcoholic um, up until the time that he died. And he lost a lot of his clients so i think that's what sent him probably in a deep depression because he lost all his clients and his celebrity connections and he lost his house he paid his maids in furniture and he died of cirrhosis of the liver in 1978 so that's a pretty grim demise don't you think but he did it wasn't just rock hudson that he manipulated and took advantage of he took advantage of a lot of people and he died in an unmarked grave in Valhalla Memorial Park in California so that's I mean that's a pretty sad sad demise when you think about it and back then I mean I just feel like everybody just had so much sex like and he was one of the the top people that used sex as a way to get what he wanted from other people and most of it was men you know um it wasn't even women it was men so it was it's just a it's just crazy i mean we're talking about california uh, definitely just as sexually free as New York, especially during those times of early Hollywood glamour, like everybody was having sex. And I know it was a lot of people that were like in a closet on the DL and you know, Henry Wilson knew, he knew that he was gay and he had an eye. He knew when other people were gay, like he could spot a gay man. Um, and he specifically, spotted gay men in Hollywood and he saw that as his prey and his way to get exactly what he wanted and for the most part he did achieve those goals then so you know Henry Wilson dies in 1978 of cirrhosis of the liver and then in July of 1985 Rock Hudson publicly announces that he has AIDS and that um I don't think he he said he was gay on TV, but I think he said that he had AIDS on TV. And this was the first time that anyone had ever seen someone go on TV, especially a big star, go on TV and tell people that he had AIDS. So this was like never done before. And in the history of, of Hollywood, of TV, he was, he was the first, like if not the first, I think he was the first celebrity to come on tv and say it publicly announced that they he had aids and he died of october of that same year 1985 and the 80s was like the 80s was like the end of all of the sexually free 
you know, 30s and 40s, 50s and 60s and 70s, like, all those eras, people was getting their freak on, okay? But once AIDS came and said, screw it, AIDS said, hold on now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to slow down. Like, AIDS came through and, like, everyone just cleaned up their act. And when you think about it, doesn't that remind you of the coronavirus? Like, I mean, honestly, not to, like, I know we're talking about something totally different, but um, it makes sense. It's like when there's years, decades and decades and decades of, of unclean behavior, period. You know, not saying gay people is unclean, but just, I'm talking about just having unprotected sex is unclean. Like, it don't matter who you screw, but just having unprotected sex is unclean behavior. So when you think about it, like, isn't, like decades and decades of unclean behavior leads to like a virus or a disease that's barely curable doesn't that kind of make sense i don't know i think i'm on to something aids was a big deal i mean people were dying horrible deaths in the 80s especially because like it was it was the first time anybody had ever heard of aids no one knew how you could get it <clears throat> back then so everybody was scared i hope that you guys like this video i just wanted to come here and talk to you guys about henry wilson just to you know show you guys or tell you guys who he was what he did and his untimely demise and that you can't take advantage of people and expect to live a very prosperous life because his life was not cute at the end okay it was pretty bad at the end and it was because you know in his lifetime he treated other people bad so his karma came in and it was pretty thick but i hope that you guys like this hollywood control video let me know if you want more hollywood control videos or you have some ideas please don't hesitate to comment below thanks for watching thanks for supporting me i really appreciate you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe like this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye